Hey, welcome back. So 60 minutes of vinyasa headed your way. Um, customized practice to you. So whatever is going to feel most healing, most nourishing today, allow that to be what you take. Um, so you might choose to incorporate additional shapes or movements as we travel through our practice. Like that's totally fine. If you want to skip anything, if you want to modify anything, drop a knee or take a pause in Shavasana, give yourself permission to do so, right? Allow your practice to be customized to your own individual body and whatever you need in the moment. So your breath and your body are going to be your first teachers. And then I will be just a suggestion in the background to that. Um, we're going to start in seated meditation a day if that feels okay. We'll be moving to our back body from there. So if you prefer to start on your back body, you can begin there. Um, we often do in my class. Uh, but if seated meditation feels okay, I'd like to suggest that for a little extra grounding. Um, you can sit either on your shins or in a cross-legged seat, whatever feels best. Go ahead and find your way into a comfortable spot. Allow your eyes to close and then we'll get started with some breath work. Just take a moment to feel your sit bones ground into the earth below. Let your shoulders slide down your back body, away from your ears. Just begin to notice your breath. Just feel each inhale and each exhale. Feel every breath in and every breath out. Just a reminder of the life pulsing through our bodies. And as you start to deepen your breath, Finding that more expansive inhale and slow, steady exhale. You can think about how your breath is one of the greatest gifts you can offer your body and your being. When you deepen your breath, you deepen your connection to the present moment, right here, right now. Allow your nervous system to calm and everything else to fail. So as you feel yourself settle into the moment, you begin to turn inward. Step into the space of self-inquiry and just consider what you need from your practice today. How can these 60 minutes serve you? And provide you with exactly what you need so that you feel supported and held by your practice, especially in this time of uncertainty and challenge. Have a deep breath in, circle sweep your hands up to the sky. And exhale your hands to heart center. Maybe you tip down with your gaze towards your thumbs. And honoring the intention of respecting your body. And then your body be your first teacher. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And open mouth, exhale, release. And then inhale, circle, sweep your hands up to the sky. And on your exhale, just let your hands come through, heart center, and then release to the earth beside you. Go ahead and find your way to your back body. And as you do so, just start to bring your knees into your chest and take a little rock from side to side. Mm -hmm. 
and then begin to make your way into your happy baby pose. So if you want to just take your hands to your shins, totally fine. Otherwise, maybe your ankles or the inside or outsides of your feet. Encourage your knees out to the sides of your body and then down towards the earth. Drill length into the nape of your neck. Feel your shoulder blades slide out of your ears. So you get as much extension along your spine as you can. And then gently pull down with your hands. Gently push up with your feet and anchor your body to the earth. And take one more inhale here. Exhale, figure for your right ankle on your left thigh. Interlace your hands behind your left hamstring. Take a little rock from side to side. From here, unwind your legs, knees to chest just for a moment, and then figure four left ankle on your right thigh. Do a little rock from side to side here as well. Encourage your left knee away from your heart. Let your breath continue to deepen. After a moment in your figure four, second set, when you unwind your legs, you're gonna bring your knees into a tabletop shape. So like an upside down tabletop, knees are stacked above your hip points, your back body is anchored to the earth, shins about parallel to the ground. Flex your feet, interlace your hands behind your head. And then with an inhale, tap both heels down towards the earth, low back to anchor. And your exhale, bring your knees back to 90, back to stack. And inhale, heels tap down. Exhale, knees stack above your hip points. And one more like this, just kind of warm you up the core gently. Inhale, heels tap. And exhale, knees to stack. Now with an inhale, push your feet forward, heels reach away. Low back stays anchored. Exhale, bend your knees back to 90. And inhale, press your head into the earth, elbows wide, push your heels forward, drop in. Exhale your knees back to 90, navel to spine. Good one more like this. Inhale, push your feet forward. And exhale, slowly use your core, bend your knees in. Now, if your legs aren't zipped together, zip your legs together this time. Inhale, push your heels forward. And your exhale, lift your head and shoulders. Reach your right arm to the outside of your left thigh. Then bring your right hand behind your head. Switch, reach your left hand on the outside of your right thigh. Bring your left hand behind your head. Reach your right hand across, maybe reach your left hand back. Good. Bring your left hand behind your head, your right hand behind your head. Reach your left hand across, maybe reach your right hand back. Press away through your heels, big breath in. Right hand behind your head, left hand behind your head. Use your core, lift your legs up to the sky, slow and strong. And release your knees into your chest. And then find your way into your tabletop pose, all fours. So take a moment here to open your fingers up wide. Give yourself a nice firm foundation. And inhale, lift your heart and tail to cow pose. Pull your chest forward and through. And slowly exhale to cat. Round your spine, tuck your tail towards the backs of your knees, let your head drop heavy. And inhale to your cow shape, lift your heart and tail and shift a little bit forward and back. Exhale to your cat shape, keep your cat spine and shift a little bit forward and back. And then find a neutral spine. And then just shift your hips to the right and draw a little circle towards your heels to the left. And then go back the same way you came in, hips to the left, to your heels and to the right. Good. Find neutral through your spine. Tuck your toes underneath. 
Hop your knees above the earth, press into your hands, push into your toes, hug your navel in so tight. Take a big breath here. Mid exhale, downward facing dog, hips go up and back. Okay, breathe deeply into your shape. Okay, push length into your limbs. Relax the weight of your head. And then deepen your breath. And with an inhale, start to lift your heels high. And then exhale, tiptoe to the top of your mat, forward fold. Let your knees bend, let your belly fall to your thighs. Head falls heavy to the earth, lean forward and back. Imagine a tail or a string from your tailbone up to the sky. And then just feel your spine fall forward from there. So there's this tip in your pelvis that tilts your tailbone tall and the front of your pelvis spills in the direction of the earth to get more length through your spine. And allow some softness in your knees. Inhale to lift up halfway. Maybe push your shins away, pull your navel in tight. Exhale, forward fold, release. With your next breath in, rise all the way to stand, Urdhva Hastasana, deep breath in. And on your exhale, forward fold, soften your knees and hinge of your hips. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step your left foot to the back of your mat to drop your left knee down and use an inhale to lift your heart and hands up high. And with a slow exhale, bring your hands down to your mat. Step back into a high plank pose, right foot meets your left. Breathe in to shift forward. Exhale, slow motion, knees up or down, lower all the way down to the earth. And untuck your toes, low cobra breath in. On your exhale, lower down. Push to a child's pose, keep your elbows in close. Core strong, shift your hips to your heels. Take one breath in. And one breath out. Let your elbows kind of hang low to the earth. Then scoop forward to a cow shape. So bend through your elbows. Lead with your sternum. And then pull your heart up and through your upper arms. And on your exhale, curl your spine to your cat. Find your neutral spine. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Push your hips up and back. With your in-breath, rise your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, forward fold, step or hop to the top. Take a halfway lift on your breath in. And release, breath out. And inhale, rise up to stand. Exhale, fold to the earth. Lift halfway, inhale. Exhale your right foot to the back of your mat. Drop your right knee down. And then in breath, lifts your heart and hands up high. And exhale your hands down to the ear. Step your left foot back to meet your right. On your inhale, shift forward. Knees up or down, lower halfway or all the way. Open your heart up, dog, or cobra breath in. The down dog is your exhale, lift from your center, feel your hips pike up and back. And with an inhale, lift your right leg high. On your exhale, bring your knee into your nose, shift forward. Three-legged dog, breath in. Right foot to the top of your mat, breath out. Drop your left knee to the earth. Lift your heart and hands up to the sky with your inhale. Interlace your fingers and as you exhale, just settle in. Maybe release your pointer fingers to the sky. So interlace all your fingers and then pointer fingers free up. I like to kind of wrap my 
arms around my skull so I can lean back a little bit more with support. Push through your right foot a little stronger. Pull your belly in. Let it take one more inhale here. Exhale, goddess, your arms, let your elbows go wide. Hands go to the earth. Lift your back knee. High plank pose, right foot steps back. Inhale, shift forward. Vinyasa or a down dog. So either continue through your flow or just lift up and back. Then inhale your left leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, find that strong shift forward. Three-legged dog, breath in. Left foot to the top, breath out. Drop your right knee down. Lift your heart and hands up high. Okay, so as you exhale, interlace your fingers. You can just hug the heels of your hands together or release your pointer fingers. Press down with your left foot, pull your belly to your spine. Okay, lift through your heart, lengthen okay, through your lumbar, tailbone towards the earth. Take one more breath in. Good, exhale, goddess, your arms find the release. And swallow the earth beside your left foot. Lift your back knee, high plank, take a step back. Inhale, shifts you forward. Vinyasa or down dog. Good, every time we take this chaturanga progression, you can always choose to skip it. And with an inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. And exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. One-legged plank breath in, push your right heel back. Your knee to nose, breath out. Three-legged dog, right leg rises. Take a mindful step forward, right foot to the top. Good. Okay. Find your way into your crescent lunge this time. So hug your left hip forward. Push through your feet. Inhale to rise all the way up. And with your exhale, goddess your arms. Maybe dip your left knee to a hover. Push. Inhale. Rise up tall. Two more like that. Exhale, goddess. Maybe dip. And inhale. Rise and reach. One more time. Exhale, goddess. Maybe dip. Inhale, rise and reach. Airplane your arms. Lean your weight to your right foot. Get light through your left toes. Chair pose, drag your step forward to your seat. With a breath in, lengthen your hands up high. Feel the weight in your heels. Exhale your hands to heart center. Breathe your heart to your thumbs. Then twist your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. You push elbow and thigh together to rotate more. Navel the spine, lengthen your tailbone back. Good. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Maybe turn your heart more to your thumbs. Take one more breath in. And one more breath out. So push through your feet, slow motion, rise all the way up to stand, Urdhva Hastasana breath in. And exhale, forward fold release. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Step your right foot to the back of your mat. Scoot your left foot wide to the outside edge and then drop your right knee to the earth. Scoot your right knee back. Turn your left toes to the left like a 45 degree angle. Option to stay here. Let me bend your right heel to your seat. Option to reach your left hand back to your right foot for your twisted monkey. Squeeze your right seat, hug your right heel to your seat, or shift your seat to your heel. Now scoop your heart open, let your left shoulder lean way back. Press the earth away with your right hand. Going to take one more breath in here. You exhale, release, bring your hands to the inside of your left foot. Right toes tuck, right knee lifts, turn your left toes forward. Okay, push into your right toes and your hands. And just send your left leg back into a one-legged plank press in. You can exhale your left knee to your right chest up underneath your heart. Try to keep your shoulders square. 
And then side plank, right hand is your base. So you're gonna open up, step your left foot back, lift your left hand in the sky. And a big breath in. And exhale, high plank pose, slow motion. Find your in breath, shift forward. Vinyasa or a down dog, you decide. And inhale, lift your left leg tall. Exhale, knee to nose, slow motion. One legged plank, breath in. And knee to nose, breath out. Three legged dog, we lift. Left foot to the top of your mat, land it forward light. Get strong through your legs, engage through your core. Crescent lunge, inhale to right. Exhale, broad arms, maybe dip your right knee to a hover. Push the earth away, rise up tall. Okay, two more here, exhale, sink. Then inhale, press to lift. One more time, open, get low. Inhale, reach tall. Airplane your arms. Lean your weight to your left foot, drag or step, chair pulse. Does your right foot meet to your left? Breathe length along your spine, reach energy forward through your fingertips and back through your hip creases. Hands come to your heart center, press your palms together. Draw your navel in, squeeze your legs together. Then twist your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Then find length through your spine. And feel your hands pushing together to create energy around your heart space. So your biceps and your chest light up. Squeeze your legs together, fit your sit bones spread wide. Hug your navel up and in. Give it one more breath in. Super strong through your center to support your low back as you breathe out. Slow motion, push down, rise up all the way with an inhale. And forward fold on your exhale. Halfway lift, breath in. Step your right foot to the back of your mat as you breathe out. Walk your right foot wide as you drop your left knee down. Spin your right toes slightly to the right. Maybe hug your left toes to your seat. Option for your twisted monkey here. As you reach to your left ankle, squeeze your left seat open through your chest. And you can sink your hips down. You can shift your hips towards your heel. You can draw your heel to your seat. And you might explore this space just to find that sweet spot for this side today as you take another breath here. Okay, heart is open, chest proud. And then mindfully bring your hands to the earth. Hands are about shoulder distance apart. Turn your right toes forward as you lift your back knee. Now you're really firm here through your hands and left leg. Send your right leg back one legged plank with an inhale. Right knee towards your left tricep on your exhale. Side plank, left hand is your base. So you're gonna open as you step your right foot back. Lift your right hand to the sky. Now through your sternum, reach energetically to the top of your mat. Push down to the outside edge of your left foot. One more breath in. And see how slow and controlled you can go to your high plank pose. Find your foundation first. Inhale to shift forward. Vinyasa or a down dog. And then take a big breath in through your nose. And open mouth, exhale, release. And inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. One legged plank, breath in. Right knee, left tricep, breath out. Three legged dog, lift your right leg tall. Then land your right foot forward to the top of your mat. Spin your left heel down for warrior two feet. Lengthen through your spine, push into your feet before you go. And then warrior two, rise from there. And settle into your shape and settle into your breath. Take 
two more runs here. Feet actively anchored to the earth. So that long line from your root to your crown. And feel your right thigh bone anchor down as you reverse, reach your right hand high, big breath in. Good, exhale, side angle, lean in and down. All right, two more with your breath, inhale to reverse. Right foot presses to the earth. Exhale, side angle, sweep your left hand to the ceiling. One more here, breath in, solid through your foundation. Good, and breath out, side angle, pulse. Pause here, turn your chest open. Find length, tailbone reaches to your left heel. Lean your rib cage back slightly towards the wall behind you, and then rotate open from there, see if you have more space. If you take your left hand behind your head and then press, your head into your hand, turn your gaze up towards your left elbow, draw your left shoulder out of your ear. And from here, reach your left hand to the back of the room. Pull from your left obliques, reverse your triangle, lengthen your entire right side body. Then turn your right toes to the long edge of your mat, side lunge, bend into your left knee, hands to heart center. Press your feet away, pull your belly in. And take one more breath here. And from here, we're gonna turn to the top of our mat. So bend into your right knee, all 10 toes rotate, you're in a low lunge. Then step forward to a chair pose, left foot meets your right. Breath in, lift your heart and hands up high. Exhale, prayer twist, heart goes to the right. So left elbow outside of your right thigh. Push your hands together, turn your heart towards your thumbs. Take your gaze down to the earth, send your weight to your right foot. Flamingo your left heel to your seat. Squeeze your inner thighs towards center. Pull your belly in. Slowly send your left leg back like an airplane leg. Eventually your left toes are going to land at the back of your mat. Press into your feet. Crescent lunge and inhale to lift. Good. Exhale. Goddess your arms. Let your elbows go wide. Dip your left knee all the way down to the ground. Let your hands fall to interlace behind your back. Lift your heart breath in. And stay here as you exhale out. And start to release your hands down to the earth. Lengthen your right leg into a half split. Shift your right foot a little bit further forward. Extend through your spine. Good. Wrap your right sitting bone down towards your mat. A little micro bend in your right knee. Pull your right toes towards your face. For an add-on, left hand tense, twist your right hand to the sky. Then take one more breath in. Then release your right hand down. Bend into your right knee. Lift your back knee, high plank. Right, you're gonna step your right foot back. Then on an inhale, shift forward. Listen, lower halfway on your exhale. Side plank to the right, so your left hand is your base. Push and open to the right, right hand to the sky. Good. Inhale through your center. Find your foundation. Shift forward. Option to lower halfway, knees up or down. Second side, right hand is your base. Push up, left hand to the sky. Good. With your inhale, bring it through center, high plank pose. Shift forward. Exhale, option to lower. Open your heart up, dog or cobra. And then down dog as your exhale, hips to the sky. And big breath in. Open mouth, exhale out. Inhale your left leg tall. Exhale knee to nose up, strong intentional shift. One legged plank breath in. Left knee, right tricep, breath out. Three-legged dog, lift your left leg to the sky. Land your left foot forward to the top. Spile your right heel down to the earth for your warrior two feet. Give yourself time to rise up. Push down through your feet. Then to lift your heart first. And use your muscular strength, root to rise on up. So you go slower. It gives you the space to move more intentionally. 
and take the momentum away. It hard to squirt the long edge of your mat, but your gaze is forward. Then energy out through your middle fingers, push your feet away from one another. Let's take two more breaths here. When you're ready, inhale, reverse your warrior. Try to keep the length in your spine as you lengthen your left side body. And then side angle, left side body stays long. We create more room in the right ribs. And two more here. Inhale to reverse. The strength of your legs will support you. Exhale, side angle. Last one here. We reverse big breath in. Good. End side angle to pause breath out. A roll open. And feel your rib cage pull in. Your ears lean back. And maybe take your right hand behind your head. Turn your heart open to your right. Right elbow stays to the sky as you turn your sternum to the sky as well. And then draw your shoulder out of your ear and press. Feel like the side of your skull into your right hand. Push down through your right heel. So your right heel is pressing to the back of your mat and to the edge of the mat behind you the left edge of your mat. Reach your right hand back, feel your right obliques. Reverse your triangle, pull up and out. Left side body gets long. Left toes turn to the long edge. Side lunge, bend your right knee. Give yourself a full breath here. Flex your thighs, engage muscle around the bone. The top of your mat, you're gonna bend into your left knee. Turn all 10 toes forward. Step back into your high plank pose. With an inhale, shift forward. The lower halfway down. Right hand is your base, press an open side plank, left hand of the sky. Then come to your center. Shift forward, lower halfway. Second side open, right hand of the sky. And come to your center. And shift forward. Vinyasa or down dog. And with a big breath in, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top forward fold. Take a halfway lift, inhale. And fold on your exhale. Sink low through your seat, chair pose, heart and hands rise tall. Exhale, hands to heart. And then we're gonna twist. So hook your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh for a second side of this balance challenge. You're gonna take your gaze down. Press elbow and thigh together. Flamingo your right heel to your seat. Take a moment here, feel the strength of your body. And when you're ready, you're gonna slowly step your right toes all the way to the back of your mat. Let your toes land first, push into your feet, then crescent lunge, inhale to rise. And exhale, goddess your arms, let your right knee go all the way down to the earth. And then release your hands behind you to interlace and lift your chest. Squeeze through your right glute, lift through your heart, take another breath here. And release your hands to the earth. Lengthen your left leg zero to half split. And then lengthen your spine to complement that. Up your left sitting bone in and down. Option micro bend in your left knee to twist your left hand of the sky. Hug your left sitting bone towards the earth. Stretch your sternum to the top of your mat. Take another breath in here. And then bend into your front knee, release. You're gonna lift your back knee off the earth. Step forward to a forward fold this time. Right foot meets your left. Now let your feet go wide, and then sink down into a malasana squat. Okay, elbows open. So I'm trying to create this balance for us that offers both challenge, but then deep stretching, and some space to be in our shapes. So option to stay here. If you wanna explore crow pose, 
you have the opportunity to do so now. So you take your hands like chaturanga hands. I like to walk my feet a little bit closer together. My knees go wide. With your chaturanga hands, you're gonna shift forward, lift your booty up, look forward, hug your knees around your triceps, and then lean in. Now you might just lift one toe at a time, and the other, or maybe you lift both toes, hug your elbows to the side like there's a block between your arms. Take one more breath in. And wherever you are, back to Malasana squat release. Now from here, from your Malasana squat, you're gonna push to your feet, rise all the way to stand, big breath in. And exhale, interlace your fingers, release your pointer fingers, lean your heart up to the sky. And you turn your toes to the front of your mat and you walk your feet in about hips distance, softness in your knees, tip over to your right. And inhale, dear center. And lean to your left. And inhale, dear center. Exhale, goddess, your arms. Let your hands fall to interlace behind your back. Lift your chest. Which will lengthen your legs, lengthen your arms. And find a little softness in your knees as you hinge forward with or without that bind. And soften your knees a lot if you want to keep the bind. Lift up halfway with your inhale. And then fold and release your hands as you exhale. Halfway lift, breath in. And vinyasa or down dog, however you want to get home as you breathe out. Okay, take a moment in child's pose, your hips set all back, just here for three breaths. If you want a sip of water, feel free to grab a sip of water, and then after these three breaths, we're going to kind of weave everything together into one more layer of flow. After we take one big layer of flow, bring it down and do some seated stretches before lowering to the back body. So when you're ready, go ahead and find your way to downward facing dog. Okay, tuck your toes, send your hips up and back. Fall on in breath to lift your right leg high. Use your exit to bring your knee into your nose. One legged plank breath in. Good right knee, left tricep, shoulder stay square, breath out. Push the heel of your right hand. Three legged dog, right leg to the sky. Giant step forward, right foot to the top. Warrior two, spin your heel down, rise up with control. And on your inhale, reverse, right hand reaches. Exhale, side angle, lean in. And reverse your triangle. And then back to side angle or half moon. Bend into your right knee. Look forward, shift forward. Take your time. Left toes can drag along the earth. You can always use a block or the ground or a wall for support. Start to flex the outside of your left hip. Press through your left heel. So I'm going to micro bend through your front knee. Roll your left shoulder back. I'm going to take one more inhale here. With an exhale, slow motion warrior two. Step back light. Then star pose, turn all ten toes forward. Hands to heart, bend into your left knee. And spread your wings out wide if you'd like to. Take it over to the right. And then take it back to the left. And send it over to the right. Low lunge to the top, all 10 toes rotate. And step back into your high plank pose. With an inhale, shift forward. Option to lower halfway. Left hand is your base, side plank, right hand to the sky. 
Good. Exhale back to your high plank. Shifting forward. Option to lower half plank. Press and lift second side, left hand of the sky. Good. Exhale through your center. Inhale, shift forward, maybe lower half plank. Open your heart up, dog cobra. The down dog is your exhale. When your in breath rises, your heels high. Then your knees travel to the top. Halfway lift, breath in. Good, forward fold, breath out. Share pulls, settle to your seat. And lift your heart and hands, breath in. Prayer twist, left elbow outside of right thigh with your exhalation. Press and rotate. Squeeze to your center leg. Feel that center channel of energy. Look down to your mat, send your weight to your right foot, and flamingo your left heel to your seat. Slow motion, start to send your left leg back like through an airplane leg. And then when your left toes find the back of your mat, take a moment to pause. Push through your feet, crescent lunge, big breath in. One time, goddess arms, dip your left knee low. Push to rise, crescent lunge. Airplane arms. Option to interlace your hands behind your back, send your sternum forward. Move your weight to your right foot, airplane your left leg up. Send a little micro bend through your left knee, pull your left knee to your chest, and rise up with your left leg. And from here, start to release your hands, reach them tall. Find that inner lace of your fingers above your head, I mean, that your pointer fingers go free, shoulder blades integrate. Send your left heel forward. And you can always keep it bent if you prefer that. And then warrior three, pointer fingers lead the way. Give it a one inhale. Exhale, crescent lunge. Release your hands. And then warrior two. And from here, just find your star pose and wide legged forward fold hinge down. And you can be here for about a breath to two to three. If you want to invert, maybe a headstand. Slow motion, make your way back down. If you're lifted, we'll take a longer hold on second side. Take a halfway lift as you breathe in. Bring your heels in, Malasana squat. You might have to walk a little bit closer as you breathe out. And take your left hand down, twist open with your right hand. Give it a breath. And then just switch. Take your right hand down, twist open with your left. And when you come through center, ain't not a fancy transition, you're just going to turn your toes forward, lift your hips high. And wander to the top of your mat, moving through a low lunge back to downward facing dog. Let's step it back. Good. And before we head on to the second outside, bring your forearms down into a dolphin pose. A little extra shoulder work here. So forearms are two parallel lines, press the earth away. You can either hold dolphin pose, and again, kind of softness in your knees like down dog, or find a little shift forward. Dolphin dive towards your thumbs and then press back. Good. Shift forward. And press back. Good. Three more. Shift forward. And press back. Last two. Press back. And final one. And press back. Now push down through your palms. See if you can lift your elbows at the same time. Downward facing dog. Good. Inhale in through your nose. Open mouth. Exhale. Release. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale. Knee to nose. 
One-legged plank breath in. Your left knee, right tricep, exhale. Shoulders square, push through the heel of your left hand. Three-legged dog, left leg lifts. Take a big step forward, left foot to the top. Warrior two, root down to rise. On your in-breath, reverse. Exhale, side ankle. And reverse. And then you just side, side ankle, or half moon, so start to shift forward. And right toes can drag along, push down into your standing leg, flex your right foot the moment it leaves the earth. Maybe looking down at the earth for stability. You're really active through your entire right side leg, all the way up through your right side core, up through your right fingertips. Feel your right shoulder roll back. Keep breathing. And one more inhale. Really slow and steady, bend into your left knee. Step into your warrior two. Star pulse. Hands to heart, bend your right knee sideline. And then take it to the left. Take it to the right. And take it to the left. Rotate to the top. High plank, step your left foot back. Inhale, shifts you forward. Optional push-up. Open to the left, right hand is your base. Left hand of the sky, side plank. Then through your center, shift forward. Maybe lower, halfway. Then press and lift, second side, left hand is your base, right hand reaches tall. Back to center, shift forward, lower. Open your heart, and then back to down dog. With your inhale, rise your heels high. Exhale, bend your knees, travel to the top. Take a half lift with your inhale. Fold as you exhale. Chair pose, zip your legs together, lift your heart and hands. Prayer twist towards the left, heart goes to the left, right elbow hooks. Push your palms together or find Hakini Mudra. You can also take that, gaze to the earth. Flamingo your right heel to your seat. Slowly send your right leg back like an airplane leg. When your right toes arrive to the earth, mindfully push, crescent lunge, big breath in. You know, to exhale, goddess your arms, maybe dip your right into a hover. Inhale, rise tall. Exhale, airplane arms. Option to interlace your hands behind your back. And you're waiting to your left, but we're going to fly our right leg first through an airplane leg. Just for a moment, bend your knees, bring your right knee into your chest, and grow all the way tall with it. Okay. Take a moment here. As you release your hands, maybe send your right leg forward. Maybe reach your hands up, interlace your fingers, point your fingers, go tall. You're going to start to send your right leg back into your warrior three. Point your fingers, reach away. Right leg extends. Just here for a breath. And then into your crescent lunge. Good. Into your warrior two. So your star pose. Wide legged forward fold. And again, you have time here to take an inversion for a little longer if you want to, to stay here, take any other variations. Begin to find a halfway lift and then just rotate to the left. 
Step forward, forward, fold. Dive across your thighs. Big halfway lift breath in. And then bend your knees and have a seat all the way down as you breathe out. Then take your right shin in front of your left for a cross legged seat. Maybe untuck the booty. Inhale your hands up high. And exhale, lean forward. Whenever you're ready, just switch sides. Just push the ear to the way. Gently unwind your legs. Switch out. Left shin goes in front. You might readjust your seat. Reach high with your inhale and lean forward on your exhale. Start to feel balance between your two sides. There's no rush in this. You're just going to push the earth away. And in your own time, unwind your legs. If you need to use your core to lower back or just hug your knees in and release to your back body. Once you arrive to the earth, start with a rock from side to side. And eventually let both knees just fall to the left, gentle twist. And three breaths. Slowly migrate your legs to the opposite side. Legs go to the right. Maybe gaze tips to the left for three breaths. Make your way back to the center. Land your feet to the earth, knees bent. Press through your feet. Maybe to the backs of your arms if you like this robot arm set up. Then find your way into a bridge pose. Feel the anchors of your feet as they press down. Feel your glutes lift your pelvis into the air. And then slow down your breath. last two. Then take your time gently release your hips to the earth. With the soles of your feet come together, let your knees fall open wide. Allow your hands to land wherever it feels natural and then start to breathe in, release slow. And 
can you exhale out even slower? <laughs> Excuse me, and as you breathe in and out nice and slow. And so the world around you also slow down. It's important to move in the direction of balance, to do what we can to move towards that sense of equilibrium. We have a balance between effort and ease, work and rest, strength and softness. Just feel yourself here balancing out all your hard work. You can choose to stay right here you can lengthen your legs out right away if you want to bring your knees into your chest. Offer yourself a final squeeze, you can. Just make your way into your final relaxation, whatever shape feels most comfortable, most useful for your body. And I'll leave you here to rest for as long as you'd like. And we'll just close our class together as you start to drop into your final relaxation. And taking one more deep breath in through the nose, nice and full. One more open mouth, exhale, release. May yoga offer us a path to compassion. And may your practice serve as your teacher. And so we do in living more authentically and loving more deeply each and every day. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste.